We got Rick, who's calling in from Canada. Rick, you are live on Talk Heathen. What's going on? Hey, guys. How you doing? Doing well, doing well. I hear that you think the global flood is a fact. Is that right? Yeah, absolutely. I think, yeah, uh, I've heard you guys keep talking about this, so I wanted to call in last week or two. Um, I heard you guys say, you say that science has disproved the flood, right? Well, that's, that's this proven is the word I would use, and I don't think that's the word you would use either. I, no, I would say it is not, to my knowledge, supported by science. Right. In other words, there's no evidence to suggest a f- global flood has existed, um, at least as it's described by the Bible. I mean, there's definitely been floods, but global flood, not so much. See, I, I take the opposite position. I've looked at the evidence, and I, I think it absolutely supports it. But I just wanted to start this is. Like, I have a whole bunch of stuff here, but uh, have you guys ever heard of Ron Wyatt? Of course you have, right? Ron Wyatt uh, is a, uh, I think he's a pseudo-archaeologist, right? Or, or does he say he's the archaeologist? Uh, I'm, 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 I'm going off the cuff here. I'm not sure who that is either, so if you want to let or, me know. So Ron Wyatt's the guy that claimed... Sorry, Ron Wise, the guy that claimed that he found the Ark in Turkey. Right, oh, that guy. Yes, yep, 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 I'm yep. sorry. Yes, Got I am it. familiar yep. with that one. We're Googling it now, and yes, he is uh, He is that guy I was thinking of. Is okay. that the book where it said that he had photographs, or someone had photographs of the Ark that was crashed up there, but the Soviets stole them, and that's why we don't have them anymore? No, he got it, he got it years back in the 60s. I think there were scans taken, and it was... Uh, it was a place of like they wanted to go look at because of its structure and the way it looked. So he went out there to study it a little bit more and he brought, there's documentaries on it. He brought a whole team out. And I noticed I've, I've, when I've heard you guys talk about it, you always say that he's been disproven. Right. Yeah. And I'm just curious because yes, yeah, from the evidence that I've seen, the documentaries I wa- I watched, I mean, you really got to go out of your way to say that that's not a giant boat structure. Well, you know, I like, have you guys ever watched I, yeah, I, I was going to ask you uh, what these programs are uh, that, that you've watched. I don't think I've seen that particular documentary. I'm also a, a little bit careful about using that term sometimes. I think sometimes it's overused to suggest that what you're watching is a well-researched scientific account of something when, in fact, it may not be. Uh, so I'm I'm suspicious of, of relying on something just because it was – advertised yeah. as a documentary i would and want to know what is the information that was presented in it and who was presenting it and what are their credentials and where was the evidence for what they were presenting because just because somebody made a video about it and put it on youtube or, or somewhere else that that is not sufficient to convince me that that is credible information it may be but yeah i need to know more than that it was on a documentary also this is interesting i'm just looking at the wikipedia article but it even says answers in genesis doesn't even consider why its claims real it says quote fraud fraudulent, um, and, and they talk about some of their reasons why. So there's definitely even other evangelicals that don't think that this is legitimate. Also, he's not an archaeologist. He is a nurse anesthetist um, who went to Turkey. So, you know, not really qualified to make determinations on what things are in terms of archaeology, right? Like if I went out to my backyard and I said, I think I found a boat structure— I don't get to say that, <laughs> right? Like, you have to have a people in charge who, like, study this stuff for a living really tell you that. And uh, it doesn't, I don't know if, I don't know if he's got that, that, that cred. I don't know if he's got that. Yeah, so he, he went out, there's a whole team of people that went out, but the people that led it was Ron Wyatt, uh, Dr. Baumgartner, who was a scientist archaeologist, and David Fassel, who was a marine, uh, marine salvage expert. They... Uh, led the search, and Turkey has it blocked off, right? They, they've been doing studies on this for for years now, right? And they found not only boat structures, there's scans of it that you can see. It's clearly a boat image. They have man-made pillars set out in parallel uh, lines exactly where the boat would be. They put tape all over every time they got a hit. It made a perfect boat image. They've pulled petrified wood out there with pitch all over it. They found animal parts in the cavity of, of it. They've done 3D scans on it. I mean, like, like you got to really go out of your way to say that that's not a boat structure. Uh, well, well, you know, I I don't know what, what a perfect boat structure is because I am not a marine salvage expert. And I'm also wondering... Um, how much experience a marine salvage expert would have identifying boats in ice on mountaintops. But, yeah. you know, all that aside, um, 
I haven't seen these images. I don't know whether or not they look like a boat, but I don't really find that to be a compelling story for a couple of reasons. I'm sorry, not story. I, I don't find that to be a compelling argument for a couple of reasons. The first one is I, I am not yet convinced that these images that we're being told about are are credible, reliable, real information and not some sort of hoax because all we've heard about yet as far as where this these plans are, are coming from or these images are in this – book that may or may not have been self-published. I'm not sure. I can't really even find where to purchase it, but it seems it's not a scholarly source. Yeah. So I, for, my first question is, where are these scans and images, and can we validate that they even exist or are real? But then let's assume that somehow we did. All that would demonstrate then is that someone found something on a mountain in Turkey that appears to be in a scan in the shape of a boat we still haven't reached now that there was a global flood and this was a boat built by Noah at the direction of God and all of the rest of the claims. I'm hearing that someone said that they found something that they think looks like a boat on a mountain. I'm, I'm not really impressed by that amount of evidence. You know what I mean? Is there more? Can, can you convince me that that is, you know, something I should pay attention to? So, so um, not only was it exactly where the Bible said it would be, right? It's where the where did the Bible say it would began. be? I believe the Bible said it's on Mount Ararat, right? Right, right, right by Mount. It's the mountains of Ararat. Yeah, so and listen, two miles Mount, away from what they call. It. Nobody knows where Mount Ararat is. That's the problem. Mount Ararat has been yeah. claimed to be a million different mountains. Exactly, but it's in the Middle East, right? And that's where it would have been. Okay, but no, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. <laughs> wait a minute. That basically gives you carte blanche to just say, oh, it's on this mountain, and they said it was going to be on a mountain, so this must be Mount Ararat. Like, that's not how we know that that's Mount Ararat, right? Like, that's not an exact location. It, it would be one thing. I would be impressed if there were GPS coordinates or something like that, and then they found this thing, you know, yeah. on that exact spot. But that's not what we have. We have kind of the circular argument of, well, I think the Bible says it will be in this area, so I'm going to look in this area. Yeah. It, it's a pretty broad range. Yeah. Yeah, but if I if I called and said that it was in Russia or Australia, you guys would go, well, how is that possible? So you know what I mean. It's in the Middle East, and that's where it's said to be. It's where the population began. It's where the Bible takes place, right? I, mean, I, I agree with you that that is the setting of the story. I, I'm still not impressed by someone's claim that they saw something on a mountain somewhere in that region of the world. And they... Here's a picture of this, by the way. Oh, they found the picture. Yeah, here's a picture. Uh, that doesn't look like a boat to me. But also, like, petrified wood wouldn't like become petrified wood in a few thousand years like that. I'm not an archaeologist, or again, not, or not a geologist, but I'm pretty sure that's not how petrified wood works. But anyway, okay, look, there's this like, that just looks like rocks to me. I don't think it, that's... This is this is the evidence, this picture. This is the picture. Yeah, this is the image. I mean, we can't, we, we should really put it on screen. Hopefully, yeah. maybe crew can find a publicly available image to put on screen. I mean, to, to me, this looks like when, when you're looking at a cloud formation and saying, you know, what it reminds you of. Yeah. I mean, this is very subjective. This this does not yeah. look like a boat to me. It certainly no. is not what I would describe as and the perfect structure of a boat or, and if or you the find, structure of a perfect If you find boat. animal parts, like, yeah, it's in the middle of a mountain range. Like, I'm sure you're going to find animal parts. Like, I don't know. I, I, I'm really struggling to see how this is convincing. Yeah, so, so they, they found... Uh, the, the metal and the wood pillars. If you go, I encourage you guys to go watch more about it, read about it. I mean, there's, they've under the, the entire side of that is all ribbed pillars and it goes right into the ground through the scans into a Boeing. It, it, it looks exactly like a boat and it, they found metal in it as well. Metals that we didn't even discover until the sixties were in there all uh, like ancient old. They've been there for thousands of years. And I mean, I mean, it's definitely, even if you want to say it's not a boat, there's a structure in there, an ancient structure is in there, man-made, matches the dimensions of the ark, looks like a boat, has animals, pieces in it. I mean, and, and it's in Turkey. I mean, that in itself is compelling, so I don't understand why you, why you guys just dismiss it. Well, well I, I'll tell you why that's not compelling to me, is let's assume that all of this is correct information, which again, I am not convinced that this thing even exists, but I, I will. I'll, I'll look into it more. But let's say, for argument's sake, that there's 
this spot in Turkey and somebody saw something that looks like a structure made out of wood and we're hearing it also has metal on it and it I'm not sure how but they think that it's a few thousand years old for some reason they have dated it to be a few thousand years old and it appears to be man-made and there may have been animals in it that the reason that's not compelling to me is because we know that people live in Turkey and that people have built structures so that could exist regardless of whether there was a flood story that the existence of a structure made out of wood and metal that may or may not have had animals in it is not remarkable to me because there are lots of those I, i'm i'm not convinced by that then that the whole rest of the story is true that's the least remarkable piece of the story someone building a boat is not a supernatural event that doesn't convince me of the existence of a god or the truth of the bible or a global flood story it convinces me that someone built a boat Mm -hmm. And I'm not yet convinced that this is a boat, but even if it were, that's all that it would demonstrate to me. So I would need to see some evidence of the extraordinary parts of the story mm -hmm, mm -hmm. To, in order to then believe now, those pieces of it. I've been Googling while this whole conversation has yeah. been happening, and I found um, a special report written by Dr. Andrew Snelling, who is a creationist from Answers in Genesis, who has written a point-by-point -point refutation on... Everything that this guy Wyatt has done, he talks about radars that showing the man-made boat structure, that there's a regular metallic pattern, that the ship's ribs are showing, uh, that there's lots of petrified wood. And he's saying, like, he literally starts this article by saying all of these things are false. Um, and this is a guy who is, like, I, I don't even agree with him with probably anything else he says, but he's saying that even this is kind of BS. I think someone who has that motivation to want to prove, like, that the Earth is old would be really excited by this. And I'm not saying, like, this is going to be a be-all, end-all piece, but there's definitely criticism out here and at least some of the saying that the research that was done here and the claims that are being made are sketchy at best. So, um, yeah, I got to say I'm not convinced. Uh, so I, if you don't know the name, I would say look at the show later and rewind the call and try to Google what I just talked about because um, there's definitely a lot of criticism about this thing. Yeah, no, no, that, that's understandable. And like uh, uh, your, your co-host said there, all it, all it proves is maybe it was a boat, right? I, I agree with that. But it, but it is a boat. It matches all the biblical criteria, including dimensions and everything. So we should be taking that into consideration. Yeah, see. Scientists have said that. I don't know that it I does, that though. Scientists <laughs> that believe crazy stuff. Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm not following how that could be the case because, you know, from the pictures we saw that I'm not sure are real pictures, that doesn't appear to me to be a complete intact structure. I, I don't know what that is representing, but you're telling me that that lump of earth yep, on yep. the side of a mountain exactly matches the dimensions laid out in first, the Bible for the ark? Yeah, I, I don't also, understand. Yeah, the, the length, well, first of all, we got the picture on screen right now for those of you who are watching at home. Uh, this is the ark, okay? Uh, and yeah, if I recall, it's been a minute, but I believe that the ark dimensions were done in cubits, which is a notoriously... Uh, nor the notoriously like um, kind of ambiguous definition for measurement. There's lots of debates even on what that even means. Um, so I even dispute this claim that we know the exact dimensions because I don't think we do. Uh, maybe it matches up with a rough idea, but I, I don't I don't know. I'm it, not it may convinced. match up with the exact dimensions in the Bible in the yeah. same way that the location of this lump matches right. up with the exact location <laughs> of that Mount Ararat. Yeah, this Mount is Ararat. clearly Mount Ararat, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you mean there's a what? thing on the side of a mountain that looks like a large structure, uh, you know, I'm I'm barely convinced even of that much, yeah. but that's not very specific. Yeah. So it matches it matches the royal Egyptian cubit, which Moses was a, an Egyptian prince. So we wouldn't expect anything other than that measurement, right? And it does match it exactly. But, but anyways, I, I don't. Do you guys still have time? Because I have a whole bunch of evidence I can give. No, you. honestly, we really don't. We got to get to some other callers here because uh, we took, I think, a little too much time with the other ones. But you know, I, I hope uh, you look up what we're talking about here, and I'd be interested if you call in again about this topic. I want you to look up this special report written by. It's not super long. Um, it's written by. Da, 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 uh, and again, I haven't read all this through. I literally just found this off the internet. Um, but, oh gosh, what's the name here? Uh, where is that? Uh, Dr. Andrew Snelling. Dr. Andrew Snelling from Answers in Genesis. I'd be curious to see your response to the things made here because, uh, um, yeah, I'm, 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 I've so far 
we're not convinced. But thanks again, Rick, for, for calling in and sharing you some time with us. Uh, we appreciate it. Yeah, for sure. That was, that was a fun call. Yeah, we're getting a lot of flood calls today. Yes. We're flooded we're with flooded flood calls. We're flooded with flood calls. Uh, hey! Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, everybody's going to die. Yeah. 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 Can this be the arc? Can can this show <gasps> the be the arc? Studio be the arc. The ACA arc. Ooh. Uh no. No. Yeah, we don't have enough room. That's true. We gotta get all the animals. I don't think they'll fit. No. no. I don't think so. I don't think many of them will like the climate here either. No, no, they'd start eating each other and yeah. stuff. It'd be a mess. Plus you gotta pick up all that poop. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't it's think gross. it would work 